All right, so I just wanted to share with you guys a metering setup that's certainly not your typical installation. Usually you have a meter on a home or whatever. You pull the meter off and it interrupts power. Uh, for larger loads, there's CTs and PTs involved on the secondary side. Uh, this here, this footage is actually over at a nursing home. So we've got our 12208 coming in. There's no PTs involved. Here you can see there's CTs at a, I think it's 605 ratio that brings down the current to a readable level. But in some circumstances, we actually meter the primary coming in. So this here is at a large park, like a national park, and they have their own power grid within the park. So we meter the primary voltage. We meter the primary lines coming into the park and from there it puts off to several buildings, visitor center, cottages, all kinds of stuff. So kind of a neat setup. This is our, uh, well first off, you get those big green boxes. They're not all transformers. This here would be essentially a, a metering tank, I guess. And uh, we have our high voltage at 7200 volts to ground, phase to ground, 12470 phase to phase. And you'll see on the little, real simple diagram, you have your line and your load. So that underground, which comes from way over there in the village, it's all buried underground across the bridge, comes up through here and into this box. And the primary goes through the switching unit onto the other side which is over here and it comes out on this side here so we can see where the 7200 volts comes out on that bushing and goes in through that high voltage CT so the bar type is coming in on the right hand side coming out on the left those two leads being that close together, they are the exact same voltage. But it's it's measuring the current and it's actually transforming it down to a readable level. I'm not sure what the ratio is on this unit. But it's going through those real tiny little wires through that pipe over to our transformer rated meter. Once it goes through the CT, you can see it carries out back to that bushing, back out on the other side. And we just tap the PT high voltage off that, 7200 volts, so that would be uh, 60 to 1 ratio, connected to ground on the other side. So PT, that's just a regular transformer. Pole mounted transformer is technically a PT, but this one's not designed to handle any load. It's just designed to transform the voltage uh, for metering purposes. So those small little wires you see at the bottom we have it down to our 120 volts and again over to the meter so that meter multiplies the 120 volts times whatever the current is let's say it's 40 amps you factor in the ratio whatever that multiplication is to come up with how much power is being used by the park so this stuff you can't work on this stuff while it's energized at all um, you know rubber gloves and sticks if you ever gotta remove the elbows and stuff you can work on there's a few things you can do energize but this cabinet here you're not going in this side at all even with rubber gloves with the bare 7200 volt copper so just go back to the other side that's where the cable comes back out on the load side and off to feed the rest of the park. So, kind of an interesting setup, guys. It's, uh, as far as I know, it's the only one in my area that's metered through a metering transformer, apparently, that's what it's called. Normally, we have, actually, I'll give you guys a shot of a metering unit that's more of a typical setup on a Pole, pole mounted metering unit. It's much more compact, way easier to set up, way safer to work on. So yeah, anyways, 
let me know in the comments guys if uh the for any of the linemen watching this channel if you guys have ever worked in this setup or if it's if it's typical for your area